Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today it's going to be something slightly different, it's not going to be a painting tutorial, but I'm going to show you how I uh, modify the, the flight bases for these new metal planes from Warlord Games. Uh, it's uh, a two, sort of two part. The first one is to secure the plane uh, tighter to the base itself, and the other one is to apply some weights to the bottom of the base so the plane doesn't fall over. Uh, it's pretty simple stuff, you know, um, you can pick the stuff up you need. Uh, you know, five, five quid, it'll sort you out. You, I mean, I got the stuff for me, um, and there's probably enough to do sort of 15, 20 planes at least with the, the base material. But the first thing you want to do is get yourself with these little, uh, I think they're called Hawk widgets. I think they're used for a different game like Warhammer, I think, or something. Uh, but they fit perfectly into there. Uh, and they're really simple. All you need to do is get yourself a three and a half mil drill bit and just drill it. I've used a, a, a battery drill, but you can obviously use a pin vise, it might take a bit longer. Uh, and just drill it down, you know, two, three mil into the, the plane. Uh, and as you can see there, the hawk widget slips into there <coughs> and obviously into the base. The only downside with them is because obviously with the bases themselves, you get, uh, they have to point a certain direction. It doesn't interlock, that's the only problem. So you have to, you have to make sure your plane's facing the right way. Uh, but that's pretty much the first step. But as you can see, we'll move on to the next one because it falls over. The next part, you can use uh, a multiple of different things. For this one, I used uh, some three mil sort of lead flashing. This was a sample piece I bought off eBay. I think it was about three pound. Um, and as you can see, there's probably enough room there to do, I, you know, cut them right, probably 10, 15 bases. Um, but what you want to do is get yourself the pilot disc uh, and draw around it. The beauty of lead is uh, it marks really easily, so you can just draw there and get some, some tin snips I've used, but you can obviously do it with sharp scissors, or if you're feeling brave, you can do it with a Stanley knife. Obviously just watch your fingers. The other options you can use are 35 mil washers. They already have the hole in the middle drilled, which is handy, but you will have to drill another hole if you want to get your pilot disc off once it's on the base. And obviously going through sort of steel washers will be a bit tougher than this. Uh, but there is a divot at the bottom, as you can see. So what you need to do is just get the lead, give it a push, and it'll mark the middle of the base for you. Uh, and then grab an 8 mil drill bit, go straight through the middle, uh, and then once that's done, if you clean all the sort of rough edges, it's ready to move on to the next step. Once your uh, your weight fits into the bottom of the base, it's ready for the next step, and that is to drill your hole for the pilot disc to be removed. Uh, get yourself a pen, just draw around the hole, uh, take it out. This time you need to get a six mil drill bit, and obviously drill it through and clean it off. Uh, and then once you've done that, it's ready to move on to the next step. Once you've drilled your holes and everything lines up, it's time to fix that to the base. On mine, I got myself my uh, trusty super glue out and doused it on the bottom of the base uh, and stuck it on. Uh, I've got more uh, sort of stands that you can shake a stick at, so I'm not too worried if I've got some splodge with super glue and lead. But if there are people out there that don't want to uh, permanently fix it, get yourself some blue tack or some putty uh, and just sort of temporarily do that while you play your game and obviously you can take it off afterwards. Um, that's pretty much solves your two problems with these sort of overweight um, planes. So it's not ideal. I do wish that Warlord didn't bring metal planes out and I hope that this is the last of them. I'm, I'm saying with a bit, of, a bit of hope, but I don't think it will be. Um, but like I say, four or five pound, I think was pretty much the, the cost of, um, of making it. So you know it's life's life so you've just got to plod on with what you've been given um but now the hawk widget's on as uh, magic happens it doesn't fall over um so yeah basically you can do it with these Let's get rid of them sort of monstrous bomber bases that you get given um and the good thing as well is the bombers and the transport planes and stuff uh the same theory that's the the widget you get given um, with the uh, the bomber bases, but they are pretty big and even they don't fit in, which isn't great. Uh, so again, same theory, three and a half mil drill bit, drill into your model, stick your widget in, um, and then 
yeah, it holds the Bombers as well. I've tried it with the Tupolev and the, the JU88 now, and it holds them perfectly. So if you want to avoid them massive bases, um, that's the way to do it. Um, so as always, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helps. Uh, so if you like the video, like it, and if you like the channel, subscribe.